I'm Tracy Lockwood Beckerman. I'm a registered dietitian in New York City, and it's my job to help you figure out what to eat and why. And today, I'm answering your nutrition questions. Of course, these are just my professional opinions, and they do not and should not replace a conversation with your own trusted practitioner. Think of this more as helpful intel rather than a treatment plan, because everyone's nutrition needs are uniquely different. With all of that out of the way, let's dig into what's eating you. What's the deal with the detox teas I keep seeing on Instagram? On social media, celebrities and other A-listers are endorsing these teas to their impressionable fans to get a flat tummy and to help detox. In reality, these teas are nothing more than glorified laxatives. That can ultimately cause some pretty unpleasant and stinky side effects, such as diarrhea, massive headaches, drastic and dangerous fluid shifts which can lead to bloating and even fainting. They contain herbs, enzyme blends, and ingredients that give a healthy veneer to what are ultimately pure laxatives and diuretics. It's a scam, it's deceptive, misleading, and harmful. These detox teas and shakes are another example of pseudoscientific snake oil, and these products are beyond dangerous to promote to society. According to the CDC, roughly 23,000 emergency room visits are due to dietary supplements. And more than half of these visits in young people ages 5 to 19 are due to weight loss and energy supplements specifically. These types of teas contain as many as 80 ingredients, with too many flavor profiles and sweeteners to count. Shouldn't teas just have one ingredient? Tea? What am I missing here? They have unsafe levels of vitamins, like huge, unnecessary amounts of vitamin B12. Too much B12 is actually extremely dangerous for the kidneys to have to filter. It's like if you just wanted a sip of water and all of a sudden you were forced to drink the ocean. Ugh. Plus, these detoxing claims are also smoke and mirrors because our livers and kidneys are designed to help us detox. Deal? And in the long term, swapping detox teas in for meals can truly mess with someone's relationship with food, body image, and self-worth. Research shows that even modest amounts of dieting reduces our brain's ability to produce serotonin, one of our brain's most important neurotransmitters that regulates happiness, mood, sleep, memory, sexual desire, and appetite. And the same behavior often leads to disordered eating, which can lead to the development of other mental and emotional issues. So you could see how dangerous it can be to take any kind of diet advice from a misleading Instagram post. Hey, subscribe to Well and Good's YouTube channel, okay? I promise you'll get a lot of great tips from me.